Hey YouTube, just a quick video on repairing a Cobra motor. These are Cobra motors. They're nothing but aggro with them. This but they used to be the best motors um, for a quad. These are um, the two 100 kV motors. All those black marks and magnets that I've had to re-stick back in because they split motors. Uh, this is what they can end up looking like. This was a particularly great example. The first one that failed. And uh, the magnets come off. Chewed through the... Uh, uh, to the electromagnets before I put out the sky when I looked three others had started uh, dropping magnets I raised it with Cobra motors they couldn't give us a, a shit basically um, all my mates have got Cobra motors they've got exactly the same issue with dropping magnets and having to super glue them in if you have got these motors I feel sorry for you and if you have to do this I want to show you how to do it so I used to take the motors off uh, to do this, which is ball eight, because you've got to unsolder everything, unwrap the ESC. But what you can do is just undo the circlip. I use two things like that. Stuff a bit of blue tack down the hole so that the circlip, when it pings, it doesn't go out. Put the circlip to one side. So I've pulled the motor off, it just come off the top. Uh, as, as you can see, I've done this a few times. The tape is where I've balanced, uh, where I've patched it up before. But look, I mean, that's one motor. How, how many have come out of there? And also a little tip, put black felt tip on them so you know which ones you've done. Uh, while you're there, check the others. Just slide a knife underneath the motor if you can lift, uh, underneath the magnet if you can lift it up. Um, do what it needs doing and then pull it out with a pair of pliers or what have you. Um, <clears throat> if you notice things that it's been rubbing on the inside, then just sand it with some P1, uh, P400 or something, P600, where it's marked. Mark the magnet right side up so you don't put it in the wrong way around. Knock up a bit of two-part epoxy. This is the best stuff I've found. Super glue don't really cut it for me. This is ultra um, two-part epoxy. So let's do that. Well, before I do that, score the back of the magnet with a Stanley knife to give it a key. Score the inside of the hole where the magnet came. Don't sand it or anything. Just score a few lines in it, crisscross lines in it to give it a key. Right, hopefully you can see that I've scored it. If it bubbles up or you get shit, just clear it out of a cotton bud. A bit of compressed air. So you've got a key on that, you've got a key on the back of the magnet. Knock a little bit of two-part epoxy up, stir it quite well for about a minute, that much ado. Get a cocktail stick, take the tiniest dab. I'm going to try and show you this with no hands, but probably no more than that. Put that in the hole you made, don't get it all over the other magnets. Get the magnet you've got, make sure it's the right way around with your mark facing out. Probably best to hold it with pliers, make sure it's lined up and push it back in home. Give it a little climp down with the pliers. Okay. Don't sod around with it. That, look at that dry. This is 24 hour epoxy. But then make a note the exact opposite of where that motor went. So here, that's going to be here. Okay. So these motors are so fucked up that I just score them now, I don't even bother. So you can either put a little bit of epoxy on the other side to that or you can go on the outside with tape but it's just to remember that you've got to add weight to the other side to that mark. Let it go off, you don't need to uh, let it go off all day long but uh, see it. make sure it's seated down with the pliers. Slide the motor back on, make sure it runs free, you can leave it like that, it won't affect it. Um, I've had mates fix them in the field, but with super glue and it doesn't affect them. So then just check in between. You can't see any magnet poking out. And then what I do is I just put a bit of tape over that magnet so I don't forget to put the circlip back on. Uh, again, when you put the circlip back on, put a bit of a blue tack or something in there, hole, and you just have to fanny around with it until you get it on. So that's how I fix these motors, and I'll probably fix these motors each one about three times. That is how shit they are. So thanks for watching. Hope you don't have to do this, but if you do, that's how you can fix your Cobra motors. Cheers, bye.